If your dev kit didn't come with the preset already, then you'll experience some issues in Second Life when you upload your mesh. So I'll show you how to create a preset. You'll go into Mesh Export and click Expand Rig and Kit Options. And make sure the rig is selected. And it's only it's only required for Avastar derived dev kits. And this is one. Um, but if you if you uh, if you receive the kit with a Blender dev kit, then you're all set. You don't have to do any of this. Create the preset, and I I have one here already for Prima. I'm just going to put it in the test though, and then you just wait, and when it's done, it'll pop up a window. If you don't move your mouse, you'll get you'll get the window, and it was saved. If there's an error, you'll you'll notice an error here, and when it finishes, it'll deposit. When you see I've done it twice, I just clean them all out. Then you can select your mesh and export it if you've already skinned it. Skinned it. I've already skinned this one, so I'm just gonna go mesh export here. And that's we then we'll, let's go into Second Life and see what happened. All right, let's go to my recents and I'll upload this. Um, and I've already imported this you can see before and I turned it red so you can see the difference this one will be white and it'll cover the the previous one and because they're the same skinning mechanism you you won't see the red underneath but if I take that off let me let me just do some deformations here So you can see it works. I'll take this off and you can see the red one underneath. Alright. 